Hey, it's Al Zay Calhoun with Coveted Consultant. I hope I do a good job telling this particular story well because it struck me in a certain way and hopefully I, it strikes you. Um, the point here is about setting expectations, uh, the power of setting good expectations, and the value of setting good expectations. So there's your headline, now let's tell the story. There's a lady I'm, I'm working with, um, we're actually helping each other in, in, a, in a certain way here, um, and she was getting ready for a big event specifically in her business. Uh, this was a meeting, this was actually a presentation that she was gonna be giving um, to roughly 30 of her best prospects. So the people she wants to serve, they'll be all sitting in a room, it's 30 of them, 30-ish, uh, uh, and you know, it's showtime, right? Like, like we can do it and, and, and have, a, have a good day here and really get some good momentum, right? So she'd been setting up this meeting for at least six weeks, probably more than that. So it, it took her a, a while to get this meeting, you know, set up. So then we are in the seven day countdown to this meeting, okay? On day seven, as far as I knew, so count down seven, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, okay? On day seven, as far as I knew, everything was fine. We had talked via Zoom, everything was fine. So I talked to her like eight days later after the event. And she, show, she shows up on the Zoom call, she's wearing a neck brace. And I'm shocked. I'm, I, I, what, what, what happened, right? I mean, because you don't wear a neck brace until unless, unless something, something severe happened, right? So she's wearing a neck brace. And so I tell, please tell me the story. So she doesn't tell me just one story. She tells me a whole layer of stories. Long story short, the whole week fell apart. Okay. In those days I didn't talk to her, life fell apart. Okay. So over the weekend during this seven day stretch, uh, it rained really bad where, where, she, where she was. And she, it was a car accident. She was rear ended. She was, she was slightly injured. She, uh, she wasn't badly injured, but injured badly enough to where the doctor recommended she wear a neck brace for a week. So, so, so she's got to wear the brace at least for a, a, a little while. So she wasn't, she wasn't badly hurt, but she's got to walk around with, with, with this neck brace on when, when, when the big event is coming, right? So, so she's got a neck brace, well, number one. Number two, the contact she had at, to, get, to get this meeting set up was, we'll say, less professional than she would have liked. That was true this entire story long. The feedback, she couldn't always get a feedback response to an email. She would set a meeting, the lady would, the other person wouldn't come. Ah, oh, drama. Even in the last seven days, she was trying to get a response to something, confirmation of, certain, of some certain things, make sure everything was gonna go well. She wasn't getting the data she needed back. So she felt, the person I'm talking to, felt a little uncomfortable going into the meeting because she didn't have all, all, the, all the data, information, preparation she would have liked, right? Okay. But here's the one thing we did, she and I together, we did on that day seven that made all the rest of these changes and nuances less intimidating and less stressful. We set appropriate expectations early. So we, when, when we talked live on that day seven, I asked her, what do you expect to happen at the big meeting? What do you expect? And she began to do what most of us do. She set the highest possible standard. I'm gonna get 30 clients and it's gonna be great. And they're gonna, you know, you know, welcome me warmly and, and, and you know, rainbows and sunshine and leprechauns and dancing dolphins and the whole night, right? That's, that's kind of where her thoughts went. And the more we talked, you know, we kind of talked those things down, right? But we had to set appropriate expectations. I offered her a framework that I use personally. I'm offering it to you. That framework is gold, silver, bronze. So best case scenario, gold. What happens? What is the best outcome you can expect? Bronze. What is the minimum standard that you can expect? Right? Like just, I, I will not accept anything less than blank. Silver is somewhere in the middle, okay? So we talked through that, right? We said, okay, so gold standard is yes. 100 clients, uh, dancing dolphins, rainbows, pot of gold, you know. Okay, good, that's gold, it's gold. What's bronze? What is, the, what is the minimum standard of success you can expect? You did your job if what happens? 
and she's able to lay that out. Hey, if I deliver the presentation, I stay to my slides, I get, I get a base level of response back from the audience, I get some, I get some decent feedback, that's a, that's a bronze standard. Okay, good, good. So, and then silver we established somewhere, was somewhere in between. Okay, so now, so now those seven days play out. Okay, so I'm talking to her on day eight or day nine, right, after, after the, the, the event. And so she tells me the story about the, 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 the car accident. She, she tells me about all the event details that didn't, that did, that didn't go the, the way she, she, uh, she expected. We talked about recording this presentation so she could have footage of her being on stage. She wasn't able to get that done. <sighs> right, okay. But what she said to me was, Alze, I am so glad we talked about appropriate expectations in advance. Because what we, together, what, what we were both reflecting on was because she's a strong professional person and she sets high standards for herself. She would have set the expectation of, of her, the, the only expectation would have been the highest possible standard. Everything goes my way. And she would have viewed everything underneath that as a failure. If I'm not able to get all of those things accomplished, then I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed, I failed. And what do you take from that very important day? You see it as a failure. It took you six weeks to set it up. You went through all kinds of things in order to present on that day. And, and you, if, if you don't see it correctly, you'll take all that work home with you as a failure. That's unfair. I think it's unfair to you. It's unfair to those you were serving on that day. I think you're just being unfair. So this, this gold, silver, bronze allows you to set appropriate expectations. So now you have a tiering system, right? So now you'll listen, I've, I've got to do the bronze. I've got to do the bronze. Now anything beyond the bronze, well, that's, that's good for me. It, it just works even better in my favor. And in a situation for her, like she had spent the six weeks trying to get prepared and then things just fall apart in the last, in the last seven days, it's really important to, to, to digest the event appropriately so you can keep making good decisions on behalf of your business. But if you go into a mental funk, then you'll make a series of bad choices. And this uh, bad event, bad event, will just copy and paste over and over. And who is that good for? So I offer you the framework of gold, silver, and bronze. And it's important to think about that in terms of things you can control. So not just what you want to have happen, but what are the things that you have control over? And if you get those things done, is it a good day? Use it. I think you'll find that it not only simplifies how you think through important events, but it also will, will help you perform better at the events because you know what important goals need to be accomplished.